So here we get this uh, Sony TV KDL40R470B that's an LED TV and when I turn it on it will try to restart three times that was the first time then it turns off and starts again second time and then a third time and then after that we have a red LED blinking flashing at um, at the front six times now I would uh, what I saw on the internet somewhere I can't remember where uh, in some manual it claimed to be the main board there's only one board in there and it made some 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 weird noise when it tried to restart it sound to me it sounded like some kind of overcurrent problem uh, I don't know what kind of LEDs are in here but I'm pretty sure that the LEDs are the actual problem uh, probably are some of them are short and this would cause probably some uh, overcurrent condition so I'm gonna open it up here there's uh, a lot of parts to remove here the all these wires and um, brackets and uh, speakers and everything uh, it's always a good idea to take some photos before we do that here we remove the, the front bezel Now the, the LCD glass has to be lifted. And it's held with some uh, metal uh, little uh, metal clips which have to be removed first. And you can use a little screwdriver for that. Just lift them up like I did here, carefully not to break or uh, damage the glass this is a small TV though there's not much um, danger in uh, lifting the glass by yourself put it somewhere safe remove all these little um, plastic uh, pieces here around around the diffuser sheets So now here we have access to the to the actual LEDs. We will remove first uh, the ref uh, the white uh, reflector sheet.
you should be careful when lifting it up or you, you might rip it apart so here we now have all the the LEDs and we will test them individually it's pretty obvious which are defective so once we found them found the defective LEDs just uh, remove the, the little lens Yeah, I will test it again. Doesn't work. Now there are some clips here that hold the, the LED strip, plastic clips that hold the LED strip in place. Remove them, then pull out the LED strip and we already see here on the bottom side that they're overheated so my uh, preferred method as always is uh, using a hot plate it's very easy to do it like this if you don't have a hot plate use something else that heats some or some metal plate you can heat some aluminum plate or something then uh, the LEDs to replace here you can use um, Samsung LEDs yeah these little small ones here uh, these are 32 28 Samsung 3 volt LEDs from eBay you can have like a uh, hundred uh, hundred LEDs for I don't know uh, 15 bucks or something uh, I put some solder paste here on it, this gray paste you see on the, the PCB then place a new place a new LED on the PCB make sure it's the right polarity the smaller pad on these LEDs on this model here is the anode and the, uh, the bigger one is the cathode uh, I'll do this with all the LEDs I found to be defective And after that we heat the PCB on the hot plate which is heated to about uh, 250 degrees Celsius it's gonna take uh, just a few few seconds and repeat the process for all the other LEDs the defective ones or the ones you just replaced then before putting the lens back on the PCB test the LED again with about uh, 2.8 3 volts then glue the little plastic lens back on the LED then usually I test it again so in this TV uh, there was only two LEDs defective then put the, the LED strips back in place and fix them with the little plastic clips 
and put everything back together. I'm just for reference I'm showing the, the LED uh, strip number in case you don't want to replace the LEDs but buy whole strips So on this uh, TV I'm not going to bother with changing the, the backlight current on the PCB. Looks to be too much trouble. we can actually see there's some uh, the, the the chip it's like has a brownish color in the middle and then there's also two pins that are under the microscope you see they are still connected but uh, apparently they look like they're damaged so I would at least resolder them not damaged but um, the, the solder joints are not not good so this I would at least resolder these solder joints. So here we turn on the TV and it works just as it's supposed to be working. So what's important now is um, that we lower the the backlight adjustment for each it's uh well this is in French is called uh retroeclairage, but this is the backlight adjustment and it's adjusted to five here and that's fifty percent of of the maximum value. So I would adjust this to uh, the lowest value possible, but probably it's gonna be something around five to seven maybe. and you have to do this for every for every input that's it guys thanks for watching and good luck with your repairs